solar reflector oven with automatic sun tracker. I have designed and built a solar oven that is a combination of an eight-sided reflector and a box oven. The reflector concentrates the sunlight on the Dutch oven and the box oven design feature retains the heat. This design heats the contents of the Dutch oven to 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Most foods can be cooked in two to three hours. An additional feature incorporated in this design allows the reflector to track the sun from east to west. This is done with a small DC motor that is powered by a solar cell. The reflector oven is 22 inches wide and 10 inches deep. It was designed to fit the two quart Dutch oven. Now I'll show you the piece parts that are used to make make up the uh, reflector oven. This is a two foot diameter half inch particle board with a half inch bolt that's off centered. This bolt is used to pivot the frame assembly on. The frame that supports the the reflector is like a like a T. Uh, two legs of the T have casters, and one leg has a the drive motor that rotates the frame and the reflector. The reflector is made from 20 gauge aluminum. It's eight sided. The aluminum is polished. Through the reflector is a one inch tube, aluminum tubing that's used to hang the reflector from. Oh, no. And the uh, Dutch oven is painted black and it's uh, hung from the tubing. In the back is a is a rod that's used to position the elevation of the reflector. There's a U-bolt under the reflector, and the rod fits in between these two pieces of wood. And this is a kind of an interference fit, and you can this can be moved any way. This, There's a, a cover that goes on top of the reflector. It's made from one by one wood with plexiglass over it. Attached to the cover is a screw. When the shadow, when the shadow cast by the screw head is equally uh, distributed over the body of the screw at the bottom here. Uh, this means that the reflector is directly perpendicular to the sun. For maximum heating, it's uh, desirable to have the reflector always pointing directly at the sun, which means perpendicular in both axes. Now more detail about the sun tracker, which is the motor that drives the frame around as the sun moves. It's turning right now because the solar cell is exposed to the sun. When the solar cell is fully exposed to the sun, it puts out eight volts, which is sufficient to turn the motor and drive the frame. The solar cell 
is located on the right side of the reflector frame. The on-off feature of the motor is determined by how much of the solar cell is exposed to the sun. When approximately 25% of the solar cell is exposed to the sun, it is enough to turn the motor and the wheel. The motor will stop when there is not enough voltage from the solar cell. I'll show you how the tracker works. When the, in the actual use, the, the wheel will only move the, the back of the frame approximately half an inch every five minutes. In a three hour period, the reflector oven will rotate 90 degrees. Thank you for watching the video.